What's up everyone, my name is Nigark. Welcome back to Ancestry. I am going to hop into another multiplayer match here. And while I wait for an opponent, I'm just going to talk about what I think about Ancestry as a series. Um... Yeah, this is just like me searching for an opponent still, I think. I think I might have to wrap up Ancestry because it does take so long to find an opponent. And there isn't a whole lot of variation in the videos, to be entirely honest. Um, right now there just isn't a whole lot of cards. Uh, there is some variation in decks, like Kenai had a, a deck that had a lot of storms and stuff like that. But really, there isn't a whole lot of difference between, like, everyone's deck. In honesty, we all have the same minions. And it's not like Hearthstone where you have classes. Where, like, I can only have, like, really fast minions that all have charge or stuff like that. I can't really build a deck around that right now. I think there's only one or two minions that actually have charge without using the spell charge on them. And until the game is a bit more advanced in that, I might just wait and see if I want to play it when it's advanced a bit more and has a bit more to it. It's still a fun game. Don't get me wrong, I, I enjoy playing it, it's just, there is, I don't, I don't want to make basically the same video every time I record it. And I'm pretty much wrapping up, like, all of my series right now. I just wrapped up Human Resource Machine, Mushroom 11 is wrapping up, Ancestry I'm gonna wrap up, Planet Base is staying. People love Planet Base. I'm sticking with Planet Base, and Planet Base I can keep going and going. I can just keep getting a bigger and bigger colony. Until I run out of map size, and then I'm like, okay, make make me bigger maps. And until then, pretty much Planet Base is going to keep going. I'm having a ton of fun with that. And, you know, ending series lets me look at other games that, you know, I can make time for on the channel. Things that hopefully more people will enjoy. Yeah, see, I've, I've been talking for two minutes, still haven't found an opponent, and... It's really disheartening, like, sitting here being quiet for two minutes. We're just waiting to find someone. Like, I'm constantly playing with stuff in my hands while playing this game, too. Something I do in Hearthstone as well. Like, you've probably heard it in a few of the videos. I'll just be, like, playing with my nail clippers. I'll be, like, flicking them around and you can hear the metal clinking. I'm trying not to do that. So right now I'm playing with a packet of crushed peppers from Pizza. Yeah, I, I, uh, waiting for an opponent sucks. There we go, Wharf Rat. Wharf Rat, you're gonna be the last one to look at my deck, I think. Yep, Wharf Rat is gonna look at my deck, and he's gonna be the last one to get a good look at it. Alright, we are on Blitz, I believe this map is called, it said. I'm gonna keep the fireball, not the pacifying spirit, not the charge. Not as good of a hand as I'm used to, but I am going first again. Hopefully we draw the Matty off the first. Off the top. Nope. Uh, so we are just gonna come this away. End it. What's he doing over here? It's gonna suck if I don't get a Matty or something. That I can work with. You go over there, pop on there. Because I want to move up and start summoning my Mean 2 and my Simo up here. And also possibly defending against anything that he summons with Fireball. We saw last time what my sort of strat is for this map. It's just like, can find the center. And stay on it, Seppo. That might get fireballed. We'll have to wait and see. Ooh, we got another Simo. We'll summon that right there. So we got control of the center. And also, this is a two range thing, so I can kind of poke around as I need. Depends. If he summons up a Simo next turn, I'll probably fireball that. Because Simos are scary. Uh, uh, I could trade in with a Mati if he tries that. 
You're not getting this. In fact, if he doesn't summon anything, this is gonna be big trouble for him. Mean to. Okay, 2 6. I could trade into that with the fireball. I could also summon up the Simo, which will be able to trade into it. Nazi. Hmm. Uh, let me check its movement really quick. It has a movement of 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. I don't want to give him the opportunity to trade into my thing with that. 1, 2, 3, 4. Because diagonals aren't counted as 2, or 1.5. So let's fireball that. We're gonna trade in. And we're also gonna come over here and start beating on him. And also gonna move up here just in case he kills um, my mean to, because then he would convert this to his. And right now I'm getting ahead on points because of this. The only thing I'm concerned about is if he summons a Simo or something here. He also has a pretty good meteorite position right here, but that would hit his own thing if he didn't move, but he could move it like here, attack, meteorite, and knock out both of my things. Anybody call for a carpenter? Yeah. Storm is would be pretty risky for him, but I do have two mean to, so it could be really good. Uh, he could fireball this. Which would be pretty good for him because then he could he could just trade into this. Nope, it looks like he's going for a meteorite. Looks like it's a meteorite. Yep. Thought so. That's all of his mana though. That cannot trade into a Simo. Yeah, you stepping on that doesn't mean anything. And we're gonna move up over here to try to scare it off of hitting my Simo. Could just trade into the Mati though. Now that I think about it, that was kind of a silly move. I'm hoping he doesn't see it, but he probably will. It seems like he he thinks his thing's through. But an Atso here is going to be pretty mean. It's going to be... Atso, I've learned, because of its slow movement, it's really good for defending a point, not so good for just... like, uh... like moving around trying to get to places. But having an Atso here is going to be really good. And I might move up and try to cut off in between with the Atso. Fireball. Good choice. Seppo. Okay. Depends on if I get anything good for two. He might try to flank around, but that would take a long time. Okay, so we got a Seppo and a Simo here. Or an Atso. Um. Next turn I'll have seven mana. Which I can do a Seppo and an Ice Shards. So let's go with... That. And I'm totally fine with where I'm standing right now. I have control of the zone. I'm zone controlling really hard right now. And he could step back and plink at this thing, but... 12 health is hard to get through without an Ice Lance. And who knows, he could have an Ice Lance. Or an Ice Shard, sorry. Ice Lance. What is this, Hearthstone? What is this, the World of Warcrafts? Ice Shards. Shard. One. Not plural. Only one, even though the picture has three. Hmm. He has six cards built up. He has a lot of options. 
Which is concerning. I'm hoping that if he does summon anything, it's the 5-7 Elder without charge, that I could just Ice Shard. But I think that's 7 mana. I'm obviously trying to save my Ice Shard for something like a big Elder. Big Elders are scary. Yeah, I should probably- if I were to rebuild my deck, I would probably focus on, like, big zone control. I can reach that. Like, getting the first thing, and then going for the center one, or the two in the center. You're just gonna move over there, that's fine. If he doesn't move to cut this off, I'll probably just trade into the 3-6. Or the 6-3, sorry. Really, going for that, huh? Interesting choice. Another Atzo. Uh, I think I'll go with the Simo Seppo here. This has four movements, so placing it like right here won't be bad. And throwing that right there. I'm totally fine with him trying to like beat on my face. I don't think he'll be able to win. And I'm not concerned about killing him, I just wanted to hit him to scare him off. Is he going for the double trade? Or was that a misclick? That seemed really, really fast for him. He might have another meteorite for me though. That could be... That could very well be what he's doing. He would want to move his guy though. He would want to move it like right here. And maybe attack. Because you can't place a meteorite on the pillar, by the way. But he would hit all three of my things. That's something I hadn't considered. No, he went for the trades. Interesting. He might be trying to summon an elder then. Because my Atzo can come over here and poke him. I don't think you can move after you attacked. And if he goes for the elder, I have the ice shard. If he doesn't, I have the Atzo. Good zone control. I'm obviously not going to attack into this with this. I'm not trading my 6-3 for a 3-1. Meteorite. Interesting choice. Very interesting choice. I probably would have moved this, went over here, Attacked him. Meteorite at the three here. But, that's his choice. I guess he just didn't want to sacrifice his guy. Next turn, I'm gonna have another Atzo out. Atzo and a Seppo. Yep. Ugh. Just adjusting myself in my seat here. Now what I could have done is summoned and then moved and summoned so he wouldn't have another opportunity for a meteorite. But he's gone through a lot of spells. He still has six cards here. Which is of a bit concern. It's a it's a bit concerning. But I still have an ice shard for anything like That's not that bad. Was that two Elder Matis? Three to all surrounding? Um, I can kill both of those. I will smash our enemies. Yeah, I can kill both of those. And I can also block off the area. Yep, and then I can block off this area so he can't come in easily. My entire strat is get the middle, zone control it. And so far it's working. He has five cards now, with nine mana. I haven't seen a single elder of mine. Which is fine, I'm still doing pretty well with a 3-9 and a 
Uh, Elder Seppo, yeah, that's probably getting ice, ice sharded. Ice sharded. I'm going to share it all over it. Because that is, uh, that's a threat. That is a threat. Enemy minion una unable to attack for two turns. That's going to probably be the nail in the coffin for him. Because anything that he summons, even if it's like a really scary elder, I can pacify it for two turns. And that'll get me pretty much to my win. I don't even care about his pillar. He can keep that. I have my two. He has five cards. What's he going for here? Mati. He's gonna trade into my 3-1. I still have this side blocked though. Alright. I'm actually fine with that because it it shows me that one of his cards was pretty useless. Draw three cards. Wow. That must have been nice. Probably should have used that first. Usually drawing cards to see what all of your options are is the better play. He's just gonna go for a hit on my guy. No, he didn't even go for the hit. That was a free hit. Uh, three, four. Okay. Healing herbs. I think I'm just gonna move back here. Come up here. Attack. Uh, he's three, six right now, so we're going to heal him up. So he's now 310. And that's pretty much my victory. Unless he does something insane with like two or three fireballs. Technically, he could have four fireballs and just nuke me. That's his only chance of winning now, is annihilating me with like four fireballs. Technically three fireballs, they do four damage. Does he have a way to kill me? I purposely didn't pacifying spirit this thing. I didn't think it was that big of a threat. I was scared of him having an elder with charge. From the shadows. Simo. From the shadows. Double Simo, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to Elder there. It doesn't really matter because this is over. What? That's game. GG. Nice! So that is my final game of Ancestry. Uh, I mean my deck was undefeated technically, but... It's, that's not why I'm quitting, it's just it technically was. I got to level 7. Hopefully in the future there will be more cool updates with more cool cards so I can come back and, you know, kick some more ass with, with a look at my deck v2. But until then, my name's Nagark, and thank you for watching.